So in this video I'm going to show you uh, publishing and subscribing to uh, MQTT topics using uh, TI Launchpad. Actually tying the uh, several MQTT devices together. Okay, so for starters, MQTT is a very lightweight protocol that you can run on something like an Arduino, Netduino, Raspberry Pi, or a TI Launchpad. This is a $12 TI Launchpad. Um, this is a 4C123. And then underneath here, I've got a Wi Fi module. Um, these are $20. So $30 for a Wi Fi connected device. Notice here that when I push the button, the button is connected to the LEDs and it's also publishing to this broker. So let me stop and just kind of explain to you how this works. So when I push down the button, there's a one shot that publishes to this launch pad topic. This, there's a mosquito broker running on my computer. So when I push it, it says red LED goes high. When that reaches the broker on my computer, um, it actually comes back and is published back to this device because this device is subscribing to this same topic. So if you notice when I push the button it takes a couple milliseconds for it to come back. So this LED does not light until the message comes all the way and makes a round trip back. So it's not instantaneous, but it's pretty cool. So there's the push button two, here's push button one, the green LED. So that's very cool. We can also publish. So let's do um, blue. We didn't do that one yet. So blue LED equals high. Oops. So we're gonna publish. Let's do bring. So you can see the colors are actually blending to, to each other. Red, it's a red, green, blue LED. So when all three of them are high, then pretty much it turns white. So you can actually do, I added another command in there. So white LED is low. Publish. Here's an example of using a little MQTT client on my phone. So publishing high. You can see this, we're all just publishing to this same, same launch to pad topic. So I'm going to go low, high, low, high, low. So when it comes to the software, I have a sketch here. And the cool thing about um, these TI launch pads is they have a new, well, it's new to me anyway. There's this uh, programming environment called Energia. It's uh, based on the Arduino environment, so you can pretty much take an Arduino sketch, drop it in here, maybe tweak a couple things, and then download it. So, it's very cool. I got this example because there are lots of examples built into Energia. Um, so, down here, I'm using PubSub Client. So, PubSub Client is a client it's a library for Arduino, so you can absolutely use this in an Arduino. But anyway, we have some demos here set up, and I was using Wi-Fi, so I picked uh, basic Wi-Fi. And uh, initially, it only just wrote to the uh, serial monitor. Let me go ahead and show you that. So let's see which one I'm doing here. So. I also modified what it prints, so we're going to transmit low, transmit high. Then, of course, if it receives something, it tells you what it's transmitting and what it's receiving, so this is what it's going to receive. Bam! So, not only is it printing to the serial port, but it's also uh, connecting this data out to the I.O., which was a big step for me kind of what's going on here. I'm defining some variables. Here's where we give it uh, settings to connect to your Wi-Fi router at your house. 
and then we give it a IP address or a URL to uh, meet some MQTT server. This can be on the web. I'm running Mosquito on this Windows machine. It was extremely easy to install. Okay, so in the void setup, I was setting up these pins for the uh, LEDs for outputs and the push buttons for inputs. We set up the serial port. That's for this uh, debugging window over here. So there's tons of printing items here. Every time you see serial print, it's actually going to print over here. So if I hit reset, I'll show you what happens. So when it boots up, it gives you lots of cool information. It tells you it's uh, connecting, getting an IP address. And then once it connects, it, it goes ahead and it publishes the statuses of the buttons. You can see there were two transmits and then it, it received them back. So anyway, once we get connected, here's the main program. So this guy, connects to the MQTT broker. Um, this is a name for this device. You do have to... The only thing I had to change, I downloaded this same exact code on both of my launch pads. The only thing I had to change was I did have to modify this name for each one. It has to be unique, otherwise they fight each other and disconnect each other. So anyway, if we get disconnected, it automatically reconnects. Then we look at this block is evaluating a single push button. It's evaluating the first push button. And that I'm using this variable to basically do a one shot. So as long as they're um, matching each other, we don't do anything. But if push button So this says if the push button is not like the variable push button, we go ahead and do this. The first thing we do is we set them like each other so that the next time around um, it won't run. That's the one shot part. Then of course um, we go ahead and say if, it's, if the button's low, do this. If it's high, it does that. Blah, blah, blah. This right here is client loop. The delay may not be needed, by the way, um, but um, client loop goes down here and checks for the callback somehow using the um, library. So without this, it won't be uh, checking for callback. So this is a subroutine down here, and first thing it does is, I really don't know how it works, but it brings a payload back in whenever it receives the message that you have subscribed to. So the topic is all the way back up here. So this is the topic we are subscribing to. Um, and then right here, this is the topic we're publishing to. You can easily change this to whatever you want. You can publish and subscribe to whatever topics you want. So we're going down here, we're going to go ahead and print receive. So when I push the button, it prints receive and then it goes down here. I had trouble with the payload because the payload is a byte array. So I do a lot of stuff to convert it to a string, blah, 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 clean it up. Then I print it. Then down here, I just ev there's a bunch of evaluations. So if the string is this, do this. So if the string is this, go ahead and do this. So obviously there's room here to add unlimited amounts of commands if you want your device to do tons of stuff uh, based on the commands you receive. You could hook up every single pin in the uh, launch pad if you want. And of course, if you want to evaluate more discrete, you can um, mod copy and paste these blocks and modify them. You could also set up a block to publish uh, an analog value. I actually haven't done that yet. But um, this code will be available on my website if you want to download it and try right, it. So I felt bad for uh, sending you out into the wild with a, without an analog example. So I added one here. 
I attached a potentiometer to analog zero. So um, if I adjust the potentiometer a little bit here, we'll see it uh, evaluate. It updates the values every once in a while. So a few things happened to me. Um, it would update so fast that it it uh, caused my MQTT client here to lock up. <laughs> so I put a timer in here, a counter that pretty much limits it to update every second and a half. And then there's also a dead band here, so it, it needs to be. Um, 30% more or 30% less than the saved value before it updates. So we um, read the analog value. If the criteria is met, we go ahead and go in here. Unfortunately, once again, um, this is an integer and the stinking um, pub sub for MQTT requires a char array so these lines are all just converting this data to a char array so that it will work properly this is the simple line that actually publishes the data to the uh, MQTT broker and of course we're going to print to the uh, debug window over here and then lastly, I didn't haven't talked about MQTT.fx. This is a free um, MQTT client. So on the subscribe tab, you can type in a topic. So we want to subscribe to the Launchpad topic. We subscribe. After we do that, we're going to receive messages on that topic. Then on the publish side, of course you can type in the topic you want to publish to and go ahead and publish notice that the device received that um, you can also right click and add this to the clipboard which is pretty cool over here so I can do basically like a shortcut thing here pretty slick 